for joining me at the uh, the Michigan Science Center today. Uh, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. So many great things to see here. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Now, I want to make things better for you, so I have a joke to tell you. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Hit it. Tell me, what is the largest ant on the planet Earth? Largest ant on the planet Earth. An ant eater! Oh, those are small. <gasps> My Aunt Matilda! Darn tootin'. No. No, no, it's not. Oh, I give up, David. You what give is up? it? The largest ant on the planet Earth is an elephant. <laughs> oh, David, that's funny. I know, I know. Now, speaking of elephants, Izzy, today at the Science Center, we're going to show you how to make elephant toothpaste. The elephant toothpaste? What's that? Well, uh, here, take a look at this. Well, it is magical, but it's just chemistry. Yeah, and um, in fact, if you want, we can teach you how to make elephant toothpaste at home. Me? Yeah. Well, right here, we can do that? Yeah, yeah. Awesome, let's go! All right. All right, Izzy, let me introduce you to my friend, Kevin. Hello, Izzy, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin is a chemistry expert, and he's gonna tell you exactly how to make elephant toothpaste at home. Awesome. Ahead and we're gonna put on our gloves. Now, Izzy, these gloves are a little bit too big, so you might have to sit this one out. That's okay. So we've got our safety gloves on, and then what, Kevin? What we're gonna do first is we're gonna take our hydrogen peroxide and we're gonna add it to our flask. Now, we're gonna add one big squirt of soap. And we're gonna add three drops of food coloring. And if I could use your help, you guys could help me count it out. Okay. All right, All right. and one, one two, two, three. Izzy, it's your favorite color. Blue. It's actually green. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our yeast to our hydrogen peroxide. Okay, and this is where the reaction happens? Yes, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put the funnel in, and then what I need your help, David, is uh -huh. as soon as I pour in the yeast, I need you to take the funnel out. Okay. All right, are you ready? Ready. All right, so we're gonna count down from three, okay? Okay. All right, three, three two, two, one. one. And there it goes. So what happened? So what happened was the hydrogen peroxide reacted with the yeast and the yeast broke it down into oxygen gas and water. 
So once that happened, the oxygen gas got caught in the soap to make all these tiny little bubbles that made this nice foam that came out. Very cool, but you know, Kevin, I think we're missing something. What is that? I agree, David. Mm -hmm. You know what? what we need? What is it that we need? We're gonna need a really big toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> I know, chemistry is pretty amazing, right? Yeah. And it's around us all the time. Yeah, oh, and remember, you kids can do this too. All you gotta do is join the Metro Parent Virtual Camp to get reminders of the next awesome experiments we're doing.